credentials to prove it and figures to lean on the wrestling in this particular matchup tonight so good at not just getting guys down but controlling them once they're on the canvas even when the opponent knows what's coming more often than not they just can't stop this guy's shot this guy has some of the best throws we have ever seen inside the octagon the speed of his execution and the technique that he uses in the delivery are truly world-class for this heavyweight fight. So these fighters are just a year apart with big differences in height and reach. All right, now for the particulars, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Mario Yamasaki. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. It's a decent fight. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Montreal, Quebec, Canada, Ripty Boy. All right, I gave instructions to you guys in the locker room. I want you guys to follow my orders at all times. Defend yourself at all times. Touch gloves. Good luck. They touch him up, and we are underway. Go. First round, you ready? Are you ready? Let's well, go. no better way to pay homage to the history of pride in the UFC with this single night UFC Grand Prix tournament. Some of the best fighters in the world have come out. Let's see who will be the last fighter standing here tonight. Finds his range with the jab. Nice shot. Sound technique on that kick, Joe. Lee gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Oh, he missed that kick. Tagged him. Both guys just trying to figure each other out now. There. Lee gets caught by the inside leg. And he gets it. And now is where things could get really interesting. It looks to me like he's trying to turn towards either side. We'll see what he does here. He postures up and lands to the head. Now he's in full guard. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. He's gonna try to take the back. 
Oh, so an interesting decision there as he decides to stand up and relinquish the dominant position. Oh, spinning back fist. There's that kick. Just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. He's got good accuracy on that jab. Nice inside leg kick. And there's the takedown. Easily done. Oh, good left hand. Oh, working hard to get back up again, and he's there. Well, he left his head open there, Joe, and he got cracked with that jab. He was almost moving into it. So let's see if he can switch up the footwork here, Joe, and make the requisite adjustments. Wow! This could be it. Oh, he might be out. Oh! He hurt him. Back to his feet again. Amazing. Big body shot. seconds remain in the round. A good job defensively there to block the strike finally. Round two is next. So the round is over, but not before major damage was done, Joe Rogan. A couple knockdowns for him in that round. Big round from Lee. A huge round. His opponent was in deep, deep water, but through conditioning and willpower, managed to make it out alive. Here's a devastating kick that results in a knockdown. Deep breath in. Good. Relax. Take a drink of water and listen. I want you to set those kicks up a little bit better. Thank you very much, Carly Baker. Second round underway. Now starting off this round, he might still be hurt. He's gonna want to look to be defensive and move and avoid getting hit and try to recover. Well, Joey seems to have his opponent's timing down. He has landed some good shots, but nothing really in terms of multi-shot combinations, and perhaps that's why his opponent's still standing. So perhaps at this point, he could change up the power with which he throws some of these strikes, maybe alter the tempo a little bit, and try to make it so it's not just one and done when it comes to his striking attack. He's looking to pass. Oh, there's a good shot from the bottom. Nice hammer fist. He's doing a great job of ground and pound here. Ripping to the body and to the head, staying busy. Well, he's staying pretty effective here, fighting off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom by Lee. Three minutes now to go in round two. Trying to spin to the back. Side control. Lee gets back up here. He's trying to pass here. Reversal here, nicely done. Back to the stand-up now, both fighters upright. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes. Kick to the head lands, he's stunned. He's got him here. Oh, he got tagged. choke for the tap. Well, you can tell he has been working hard on his submissions in his training camp. That was a near-perfect setup on that choke. Sunk it in deep, and the opponent had no choice but to tap out or go to sleep. He chose to tap out.
And here we can see it again. That's a real tight choke here. And here we see it again. Beautiful submission victory. So there he is, your winner by submission. That could hold up as one of the better subs of the year. Near perfect execution tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mario Yamasaki has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 40 seconds of round number two. To claim the winner by tap out, Ruth the Dragon Lee. Well, what else can you say about Bruce Lee after a performance like this?